Shalom Barak. <coughs> I was just looking at the video of your speech at uh, Dr. King's church. Um, my name is Joshua Yaakov, and I too have a dream. Uh, at 65, I'm living the implementation of that dream. I live in Jerusalem. I left America for all of uh, its, uh, its failings. struggling for 45 years to try to change things, it uh, became very clear that uh, the problems in, uh, in America were structural, intractable, racist, embedded. Your candidacy uh, reignites the, uh, the torch, the lamp of hope for America. My blessed friend, be very careful, and now about the dream. The dream is for uh, us to in inhabit uh, the, uh, the redemption. The collapse of the local reality globally has brought the redemption. The end of exile and the redemption of men and mankind. I have a dream, and that dream is to see men and mankind inhabit the quantum reality. The collapse of the local reality means the quantum reality. The quantum reality means redemption the specifics, the trilogy of monomics explains this. I'm its author, and I'm the author of its two primary paradigms, central organized principles receiving to give. In Hebrew, kabel b'shvil tet, that's a blessing. Receiving what? Receiving the authentic you from the God of the cosmos. To give what? To give to you the authentic you and to others, your family, your loved ones, your friends, your community, the real you, not the one that's an artifact of the mind, psychological manifestation of mind of exile that blinds you to the real you while it imprisons your mind. It's collapsed, the framework in which man existed for thousands of years. In exile, was giving to receive, that is the local reality that's collapsed around the globe. It began in the Soviet Union and with the collapse of communism in 1991, over 20 countries emerged free and there's some uh, um, revisionism going on right now with Mr. Putin. The next year, in 1992, in the Yugoslav Republic, communism collapsed, and another seven nations are emerging, the most recent of which is Kosovo. I have a dream, and that dream is humanomics in general, and receive it to give it a particular, uh, in which man and mankind inhabit the quantum reality, which is redemption, and in particular, this is facilitated by Kabel Bishvilatet receiving to give. Now you know what it is. Now for the most significant challenge of your candidacy. Um, the economy, the economy, the economy. Um, the new economic paradigm. Uh, I've sent the uh, authorization and the, uh, the suggestion to make the new economic paradigm, its model, uh, the central organizing principle of the um, the national p uh, the committee in the, the DNC, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, anyway, um, the platform committee, <laughs> finally remembered, the platform committee, uh, that it should become the, the, s the central organizing principle. The the central central organizing principle of the of the campaign, the new economic paradigm, should be should be a central organizing principle that, that, that advocates uh, that the new economic paradigm model become the, the policy of the nation, and uh, it will produce full employment. It will it is manifest the model and the, the science and technology that underlies it would see it implemented and manifest as a world-class global technologic infrastructure that by a year and a half's time into the project we'll see tens of thousands of sustainable jobs re-educating and retraining the entire workforce of America, making it the most competitive in the world. It'll take about a four to five trillion dollar investment over two decades. The result will be a tripling of the gross domestic product, the output of the nation, making the economy the most productive and competitive in the world. Uh, dollar will also triple in the same time span. Uh, it will eliminate the national deficit. Uh, 
which will be running at about 14 to 15 trillion uh, in year uh, oh, about year 11, year 12, according to the uh, macros of the econometric models that uh, test the hypotheses. That said, this is the vision. Uh, we're all about uh, we're all about the future, and uh, you're about to become uh, the leader of America in the free world, and you need content, science technology content. So in praying uh, for you uh, to be blessed to deliver, uh, you seem to have some uh, relatives who are pulling for you in Shemaim. Uh, what I've received in saying in the, the Jewish religion, uh, we have a prayer which is called Kaddish, which we pray in memory of the dead. And uh, those who've gone on to Olam uh, Abba to to the next world. Well, anyway, I said that prayer for your father and mother, and I received some very. I have uh, certain faculties spiritually. They received some very interesting answers that I'm to to do some things that I'm to do to help you. So I'm doing that now, and uh, uh, so. Let's get on with it. The new economic paradigm is the integration of labor and uh, all of the details and facts that you need uh, uh, to, uh, to deliver this are forthcoming. So I have a dream, and that dream is to put cognitive man on the earth. We put the man on the moon, but it was a behavioral man. Uh, the redemption, we put a cognitive man on the earth, and that genotype should spawn the phenotype the human race. We pray. Amen. So nice to meet you. Nice uh, uh, number of you. I was most impressed uh, uh, with your speech in uh, Philadelphia, which is long since after this one, in uh, Dr. King's church. But in any event, uh, this is my suggestion. I bless you from Jerusalem, and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be continuing to see that all that you need is provided. Thank you very much.